about really deeply unhappy. I mean, I remember being happy and depressed, stressed, anxious, and self-loathing as a little boy. I always thought I would get over it. I thought I would make friends and I'd do well in the classroom and I'd do well on the sports field. And eventually I'd just grow out of this unhappiness and this depression, but it only got worse and worse over time. In the world to be a happiness coach because I spent the greater part of my life being deeply unhappy, depressed, and suffering from suicidal ideation. Um, I've written a book called Happiness from the Inside Out with a Ford by Vanessa Williams. I work as a TV producer and host and TV personality. So I've done some things for OWN and E! Network and Access Hollywood Today Show, Good Morning America, and what have you. But my real heart is helping people become happier. Let's take courage, right? To be vulnerable, confident and vulnerable, to be self-disclosing. And sometimes I think of courage as love. You know, if you're really clear about what you love and I love people and I love the idea of people being happy. And so it doesn't feel like it takes a lot of courage because I just have a lot of love, you know, so that makes it a lot easier. Um, the other thing is, I think when you suffer a lot, you know, change isn't as hard um, for you sometimes because it was like the suffering was so bad, like holding it inside was so bad that the alternative was much better than that, right? So in that respect, it didn't feel like courage at all. And so I'll say that um, just to preface the rest of this, you know, um, Happiness is a science, so there's a lot of science. There's a lot of great Ivy League, time-tested, face-valid science out there that you can access, that you can have some trust and faith in, particularly if you're not you know, spiritual or religious, it can be hard. So you lean into the science and it basically says, X, Y, and Z will help a lot, and A, B, and C won't. And so you can lean into that. So I'd say that for sure. Um, but while happiness is a science, it's also an art, which means that at the end of the day, you have to customize it for yourself and it, that can make it a little bit difficult. Now, all that being said, I would say that if you really wanna be happy and you wanna be happy more than anything else in the entire world, you will find your way there. Science will show up and books will show up and people will show up and it's like everything will feel like it's sort of pointing you in you know, a specific direction towards that happiness. And so you really can't get it wrong if you really mean it when you say you wanna be happy. I dabbled in everything. I mean, I. In the beginning, it was lots of like new age stuff. I loved Abraham Hicks and Eckhart Tolle. To this day, I still love those folks. And I would ask random people in the street when I saw they were very happy, I said, what is it that makes you so happy? How are you so happy? You know, what is your secret? And then I would go online and find YouTube videos and I would do all the things. I was open to all of it. And I think that was part of the reason that, you know, while it felt like it took a long time and I look back now, it actually didn't take that long of a time because I had one pressing, single-minded focus, and that was just simply to be peaceful and to be happy.